Manus AI for AI super agent has just launched this new update where starting today, basically you'll get additional free daily tasks for all users. So you get 300 credits per day, which allows you to have one task per day. And additionally, you'll get a one-time bonus of a thousand credits for all users. Basically, this just allows you to use the super agent for free. Now, in terms of free daily task credits, these refresh at midnight and don't roll over. So bear in mind, you've got to use them like whilst you can, but you can get free access to Manus now using their AI super agent. And it's pretty simple and easy to get access to, all right? Now, you can also see here inside Manus, if we click on the dashboard here, we can select between all these new different features that have been added here, right? So you can see what people are building out what people are doing, etc. If we click on view space, it's kind of like a social network where you can see what people build. So for example, if you want to build like websites, apps, tools, games, using Manus, you can, and it's come out with a free update, like you can see right here. It's a free daily task credits, which is pretty awesome. That's a big win for a lot of people watching. I know a lot of people want to use it, but they can't because for example, they don't have credits or they can't afford access, whatever, but you can see here, this is available for all users, right? 300 free credits. So pretty awesome news right there. And yeah, you can get access each day. Now, if you want to build something with Manus, for example, like you can see right here, then you can just go inside here and just type in what you want. You get a choice between standard and high effort. So high effort, obviously, it's going to use more credits when you're building with Manus. Whereas for example, with standard mode, it's just like the balance between quality and speed. So you can get faster outputs, but it's going to cost less credits and it's going to give you less quality. Okay? You can also choose whether you want Manus to confirm plans as task starts and key milestones. So we can accept that, for example. And then if we save here, we can actually add knowledge. So for example, I've got my presentation design preferences here. We've got the confirm before proceeding option here. I'm actually going to edit that and we'll say just be autonomous. Don't wait for my instructions. We'll hit save. And now this agent should be able to just go off and do what I want as we go along. All right. So if we go inside here and we can give it a prompt, like for example, okay, let's look at this example, right? Someone's built a website design insurance business alliance analysis comprehensive comparison of 2024 versus 2025 metrics if you wanted to build that you can just say for example okay so x off that we'll go inside here and we'll just say okay build this and then from here you could also take a screenshot of what you want so if you wanted something like this then you can take a screenshot copy the image go back into manus paste that in and then hit enter so if we wait for that to load it's just uploading the screenshot here. We've said build this, it's giving us details. Then we can click enter, right? And you can see the daily refresh credits here. So we've got our normal credits and then we also have free credits, right? So you can see right here if you want to check it. And if you want to see your usage, how much you've used, etc., then you can see an example right here. So it breaks it down, free credits right there, which is pretty cool. And then you can also see all the credit changes over time so you can see where you've used your credits and you can even connect like for example google drive and other things as well pretty awesome and then you can see some examples of what we've built with manus right here so these are some examples for example medieval realms fantasy game and then this is a game where i can just go around in this medieval world do what i want to we've got another example here so this is a ai seo content writer Basically here, we can just plug in our API key, our keyword, our content outline, and then generate content over here, which is pretty cool. So you can build your own SaaS products as well. What else we got? We got a SEO directory. So it's like a local SEO directory. This is a presentation on AI agents that we built with Manus. And then finally, this is another game that I actually built with Manus. Pretty cool. I think actually this is not the one I built. This is someone else built this one, but you can see an example of what it looks like and how it works etc pretty cool right full game built up with ai just like mario bros and if you want to see what people are building out right now so if you actually go into here go to new task you'll see the recommendations at the bottom here right so you can see between what people are building so if you click on content creator for example 
you can see all this stuff people are building out here. We've got productivity tools, data analysis, education, research, life stuff, right? Pretty cool. So if we click on this, let's have a look what someone's built. So this is your sleep well resource plan. Click on that. We've got an action plan for sleeping better. If we go back, we've got the binaural beat section. And then finally, we have the positive sleep affirmation section that someone has built. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like Facebook, but for AI agents, people are just sharing what they've built. Someone else built Candy Crush over here. They seem to have hidden it. Let's have a look. We've got Pong as well. So this is like a self-playing Pong game. Like you can see, what else have people built? The other thing you can do as well, if you click on this one, for example, so you can take the subdomain and then just search on Google for that website. So for example, site colon manus space. And then from here, you can type in whatever you're looking for if you need inspiration, right? So for example, if we type in game, we can see all the stuff related to games that people have built, right? So for example, AI powered shooter game. Let's click on that, see what we got. But yeah, you get the point. So if you want to build something like this, let's go back to Manus now. And then if we go to get started, we can type in what we want. So let's say for example, okay, build a 3D run a game where I'm an AI agent, dodging penalties relate to AI, make it fun and interest. I just want to see with those custom instructions as well, is it more autonomous? Because when I tested it yesterday, for example, it was like asking me to confirm everything before I actually went off and built it. But you can see now it's starting to build that out without any sort of messing around there. Now, one thing that I will say is from my own experiments, GenSpark is still the best for creating games and tools and apps with AI, but Manus is still powerful, right? So if you want a free version, you can use Manus, you get the free credits daily. But if you want, for example, a more powerful agent, I would still recommend GenSpark. It just seems to be better when it's building stuff out. So for example, if at this website that we built with Manus, and we actually compare that versus GenSpark. All right, so this is the website built with Manus. This is the one built with GenSpark's outputs are typically better, more customized. It actually inserts the images from my actual website. It tends to give better outputs, but it is a paid tool, right? Whereas you can use Manus for free. So if we go back inside here, you can see it's now building stuff out. We can also have like multiple different tabs working at the same time. And if you're wondering, okay, like what can I build with this or what could I create, etc. So you could, for example, type in your niche or your industry into Google and then see what tools or apps people are looking for, right? So for example, if we type in SEO app, we'll see what people are looking for. So SEO app for YouTube, right? That's an example. So now we can go back to Manus and we can say, okay, create an SEO app for YouTube, make it interesting, fun and simple. Then give me the instructions to deploy it and get it approved on Google Play Store. And so now you've got two different tasks working in the background. You've got the SEO app for YouTube that we found the idea through Google. And then we've also got, for example, the 3D runner game where we're dodging AI penalties and stuff like that. One of the other issues you're gonna face with Manus is that it does take quite a long to complete. So for example, here, this was five minutes ago, we asked it to build the runner game. And it does seem to be quite slow. For example, if we went over to Gemini, and we were using Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview to do the same thing, which again is a paid tool to be fair. And then we click on Canvas here. We want to build a 3D runner game that we can deploy. I'm 99% sure it's going to be faster on Gemini, right? You can see this is still creating the game. Gemini is already coding out, so it's skipped ahead from Manus. And Gemini is... API is just, it's goated at the minute. I'll come on to that later, but you can see an example of how fast it is, how quickly it moves, etc., compared to Manus, which is still working its magic and started on that five minutes ago and hasn't even started creating the full game yet, right? So let's wait for that to load. Here's an example. And then here we've got it working its magic, right? Now, obviously, if you wanted to improve that, probably Gemini is still going to give you better output. So you can see how much faster Gemini is versus Manus. But the difference here is like Manus, it has a lot more capabilities outside of its own sort of window, right? So for example, 
with Gemini, I can't really like communicate with the outside world, right? Whereas, for example, if we go inside a new task on Manus, you can actually get it to deploy apps and games, etc., on subdomains directly inside Manus. And the other thing as well, if you're using GenSpark, for example, GenSpark is another AI super agent. So with GenSpark, you get a lot more functionality. For example, this can actually do outbound calls for you. It can do lead generation for you and outreach. Additionally, you can generate images, videos, AI chat, and then also translation. Manus is pretty generous what they're doing, giving away 300 free credits per day. But you're probably not going to get the same speed of outputs as something like Gemini. And you won't get the same level of autonomousness, if that's a real word, as something like GenSpark. But it's up to you. I mean, you can't complain if it's free, right? That's what they say. They do say, if it's free, you are the product. But you get the point. So, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in link in the comments. On this call, we're just going to give you an SEO custom game plan. You can jump on, discover how to rank your website on Google and other AI search engines. Additionally, if you want to get our AI Profit Boardroom. This is an amazing community just focused on making more money and saving you time with AI. It comes with all my best FAQs, templates, tutorials, agents, and also weekly calls with us. So if you want to jump on weekly calls with us or ask any questions inside the community, you absolutely can. So feel free to check that out. Link in the comments description.